Thank you. How y'all doing, Gulf Point? How y'all doing? It's good to be here. Don't worry, white people, I'm gonna get to the jokes. A nigga don't start working when he first gets to his job. Gotta check around, see, make sure everybody's still working. Shit. I like working for white people. I'm down for that shit. Cause you can call in, they take excuses. I don't feel good today. Stay home, nigga, stay home. When you work for black people, ain't excuse good enough. My father died, mine did too, nigga. What time are you coming in? I let you go to the funeral, but I need you this Thursday. He didn't love your black ass anyway. The fuck you going to his funeral for? That's why you have to get good job. Best job I ever had was working in the Cleveland. That was a good ass job. I cried like a bitch when they fired me. They fired me for weighing out of people's shirts. I be at the club, women like Earthquake always got something to off. I never see that nigga in the same outfit. Sometimes he changed clothes at the club. White dude brought in a leather coat, when it be ready? I said, the summertime. Take six months to clean this jacket. But you gotta get a good job, black people. I'm telling you, you gotta get a job. I'm gonna tell you who you don't wanna work with, Mexico. Oh, they make a nigga look bad at the job. They don't take no breaks or nothing. Them motherfuckers work eight hours straight, don't piss or nothing. I fucked around and work with a Mexican, they put a roof up in 30 minutes. I had to get on the roof, take a break, motherfucker, shit. We got eight hours, what you rushing for? They just gonna give us another roof. We get paid by the hour, not by the roof, motherfucker. Take a break, shit. You ain't got no pager number, fuck. And Mexicans, they ain't got no job description. Them motherfuckers do everything. They like Walmart, one-stop shopping. White lady said, something wrong with my tree. That nigga was in the tree. I'm like, get your ass down. We roofers. Roofers don't post me in no motherfucking tree. And put them oranges up. Roofers don't sell no goddamn oranges. This some bullshit. They let my black ass go and hide another Mexican. I just got married. Marriage is rough. Yeah, marriage is like having cable with just one channel. The same shit come on every day. Like, bitch, I love you, but shit, I want to see another movie. Shit. What's on Showtime? Bitch, please go shopping. I only like being with myself every day. That's why I smoke herb and just be somebody else. She's like, didn't you hear me calling you? Bitch, I ain't hear shit. But you gotta hang around other married people. I was hanging around my boy, he been married for six years. The nigga videotaped his wedding day, never watched it. Now he watch it every day, but he watch it in reverse. Cause he said he loves seeing himself take that ring back off that bitch finger. Walking back down the church, just waving at her ugly ass mother down the aisle. Getting back in the limo, back at the bachelor party. Look how happy I was. I ain't smile like this since I married that bitch. <laughs> Mar marriage is rough. I wasn't gonna get married because I got scared. Not a of the commitment, but it takes a lot to keep a woman happy now. Because when I found out Michael Jordan was having problems with his wife, I'm like, damn, if a nigga with 400 million can't keep a bitch. A brother with $100 ain't got a shot. What do these bitches really want from a nigga? Somebody let me know. I remember when you just need a good running car. Now 400 million, these bitches too expensive. But somebody must have talked to that bitch because she took her ass back home. A real woman must have got in her head, bitch, you tripping. You must not have been out here lately. The pickings are slim. You lucky if you get a man to buy you a drink, bitch. You better go back in that mansion and work that shit out. Come on now. Personally, I think she went out and tested the market and found out what true players know. Ain't nobody fucking with her after she been with Michael Jordan. What nigga want that kind of pressure? I mean, how you gonna satisfy an oppressive bitch that had 400 million? You gonna have to take that bitch through the moon or somewhere. And you go over that big ass house, you're like, well, I can help with the electric in this motherfucker. But bitch, I only make 300, that's all I got, bitch. I, I don't play basketball, you better find that nigga back. You want somebody to pay all this shit. 
And then she got two kids. How you gonna discipline them kids? They ain't gonna listen to your ass. Y'all need to come in the house. Fuck you, nigga. This all our daddy shit. You can't even afford to pay the condo. Shut the fuck up. You make three hundred dollars. Shut the fuck up in here. How you gonna argue with them? How you gonna say you better than they father? You wearing this nigga tennis shoes. <laughs> You got on Hayes Breeze and shit. Got a pair of Michael Jordan cologne in a goddamn cupboard. That's why you gotta stay in your place. That's why well, I wet women. I mean, come on now, you don't leave no man with 400 million. That's why I'm there. I'm my little black woman to death. I love you, motherfucker. I like black women, burnt black, slave black. I like my bitch so black, she just lay in the bed, look like a hole in the sheets. You just gotta feel for that bitch. Where you at? Here I am. Get your ass in the car. I almost left you. Where's the white hat that I bought you? You can't let walk around the house in stealth mode. Fuck around and shoot your ass. Come on, black woman, you don't leave no 400 man. Come on, Nita. Are you gonna leave a 400 million bitch, please? Then she wanted 200 million of it. You deserve 200 million if you help me accumulate 400. But if you really work for that 400 million, you ain't the woman I know, because ain't no bitch gonna let another bitch come get the other 200. <laughs> After that bitch been working for a bitch, please. I knew this nigga when he couldn't dress. You could kiss my ass, bitch. You ain't coming in here now. Come on, man. You don't do that shit. Sisters, boy, white women don't leave that money. Sister. Sister, leave your ass over a phone number. I bitch, I found this number in your pocket. Baby, that's the number of the pizza hut. Well, you must be fucking the bitch at the counter. Pack your shit, get the fuck on out here. Pack your shit. I can't put up with this no more, Tyro. All these numbers and shit. White women don't leave no motherfucking man. Oh, with that money, you gotta kill a white bitch. Oh, that bitch be in the casket with the check for, mm. You might mind a nigga, but you won't get the balance. Love black women. That's why I'm down with Hillary Clinton. I love that bitch to death. She knew the real, true Clinton, what it was to be with a motherfucking great man. Whole world knew her husband fucked around. That bitch stood together like a soldier. And still did her duties as the first lady. Soon as the story broke, she had to introduce his ass at the United Nations. She let everybody know what's up. First of all, my husband. And the president of the United States. And Bill Clinton just got up. I like that nigga is a player. We got a pimp in the White House. Stand up, nigga, stand up. We got a pimp in the White House. Oh, say, say, you, we. You know, I don't know nigga know that song. Shy, shy, shy. Shabidi. You know it, don't know the word. And then I sat back down, I be like, boy, Clinton, lucky you murdered to a white woman. Because when the sister got proof you've been fucking around, you might as well cancel Christmas. Because that bitch ain't doing shit for you. Baby, I need you to introduce me. Let that bitch who was sucking your dick into the ship. I can't go out there. Everybody knows, Bill. Everybody knows. They paging me and everything. They be fighting all in the back and shit. President come out with scratches all on his neck. Shirt all torn. I'm sorry I'm late, but the first lady, that bitch be tripping. Sister would have put his ass out, <laughs> would have put his ass out the White House. The president is now living in the Marriott. Can't leave, no, come on, black woman, I love y'all to death. Don't leave your man you say you love over no fucking number. That's why I'm down with, ooh. Coretta Scott King, that's my baby. Whole world knew, come on, she had a great man. She ain't fuck with nobody after my little kid. But come on, but then again, who gonna fuck with her after she would been with my little kid? What nigga want that kind of pressure? I mean, you wanna outdo the other brother, but how you gonna outdo a brother who got his own holiday? You probably living on that nigga street. Kids going to his high school and shit. You can never come home from work. You said you had a rough day. Baby, I was tired of shit at work. Oh, you was? Well, my last husband walked from Selma to Montgomery. And that nigga wasn't tired. But you tired, huh? You can never tell that bitch you got dreams. (laughs) 
Got some bad news the other day. My mother says she want to live with me. I put her in one of them homes. She keep catching the cab on my house. I'm going to have to get a restraint on her, this bitch. I just dropping by and not calling. I told mama, you carrying the mother. You carrying me. My mother want to live with me. I told you, women look down at a nigga live with his mama. So I try to keep my mother from living with me. She, she had a stroke, so she can't take heat. So I try to keep the heat real high in my house. I be having a hovering going on, the fireplace going, that bitch never pass out, she just be fighting that heat. I'm like, damn, mama, a soldier, look how she fighting that heat. That bitch bad about it, look at this shit. She sweating like a honey baked ham, but this bitch still alive, god damn. My fish are dying, this bitch is still here. So I told my mother she gonna live with me, she gotta live by my goddamn rules. She, them rules make me run away from home, I wanted the same effect. So as soon as she opened the refrigerator, I like, close that goddamn refrigerator. Same since you looked in the last time it was in there. Soon as she go outside, make up your mind, mama, inside or outside. You can't keep running in and out of my motherfucking house. And close that goddamn door. You live in the bar. And who is this nigga keep calling you late at night? That's your father. Like I said, who this nigga? Understand, I got a lot of respect for women that have kids. Now that I'm married, cause my, I got three kids, two on mine, one of them don't look like me. I was gonna get a blood test, but that shit cost $2,500. I'm like, shit, I wait till that nigga fall down and cut himself. Like, daddy, take me to the hospital. I will, but bleed in this cut first. Two of mine, one of them don't look like me. My kid's like a bad spades hand. Two in the possible. And you know when you play a spades, you say you got a possible. What a nigga say? Is it a strong possible? Because we can set these motherfuckers if you can we get that one to walk. You can't give me three, nigga. You can't give me three. We got the ass if you can get three. Because <laughs> it's true. Bullshit you not. But my wife gave me my kid and my son. I want to be the first one in the world. I want me to be the first one he seen when he came in the world. I got a lot of respect for women to have kids because if men had to have kids, it'd be like three people in the world. So there ain't no way you can take that kind of punishment, man. My wife was in labor like for 18 hours. And ain't nothing you can do for her ass but just rub her back and give her some ice. But you got to be a strong man in there because it tests your manhood. Because your baby be laying in there in a vulnerable position and her legs be all open. And a doctor just coming in with a glove, putting his hand between their legs, talking about, let me see if she ready yet. <laughs> no, the baby ain't ready yet. <laughs> then another doctor come in, I'm checking now, see if she ready yet. The third doctor, I just stopped, hold up, this is my pussy, what we looking for? Because all y'all just ain't going to stick your hands all up in this bitch and think we going to stay together. This is some bullshit. And you tell that doctor with that big thumb, don't bring his ass in here no more. His thumb bigger than my dick. He gonna fuck my relationship up. I can't follow that motherfucker. Look at his thumb. This is some bullshit. Y'all know each other? She moaning like shit. Fuck going on. Then I had to follow the doctor around because he was going in a room and room doing that shit. I had to pull him to the side like, what kind of doctor are you? That motherfucker said he a OBGYN. I'm like, damn. I never see your job at the career counselor. Oh, I would have studied for that motherfucker job. I never seen that job in the one ass. I would have took that motherfucker. People don't understand. I'm glad to see white people out here hanging. Because you know that September 11th shit got their ass shook. I got white friends. They're like, ain't you afraid of terrorists? Like, fuck no. I'm a nigga. I've been living with terrorists all my life. I know a brother that'll kill everybody in this motherfucker. Step on his brand new gator. This some bullshit. Shit, when you black and you go to the comedy club, or you go out to party anywhere, you, t you dance with terrorists. We deal with terrorists every day. How you doing? Damn, baby, you looking good as shit. Pow, 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 bitch, they shooting again. Stay right here, stay right here. We gonna be all right, stay right here. Oh, white people don't laugh. Y'all be at the club <laughs> and the motherfucker be on fire. Y'all still be dancing. This fucking band is awesome. Look at the fireworks. Look at the fireworks. This fucking band is awesome. 
Then they start thinking, I don't think this part of the show, Billy. Ten people just burned up. This is not part of the show. This man is fucking awesome. Twenty more white people done died. I don't know, Billy. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> and I'm upset with my white folks because I love y'all because I don't understand how anybody can be racist all of us got retarded ass kids so I don't understand how anybody can be racist but I'm upset since y'all do run this country and I am a citizen and you running the motherfucker I'm gonna hold you accountable so I want to know how motherfucking the cave fuck up everything how y'all let a motherfucking the cave fuck up everything because you've been watching our black ass too long and see, the problem is, it, you can't find Saddam bin Laden. That's some bullshit. You're sending the wrong people to look for him. Don't send the Air Force or the Navy. Send child support. That's who will find his ass. Put them on the case. They found my black ass. My real name ain't Earthquake. I'm on the run. You got to go to child support court. That's the funniest shit on earth. You got to get there real early, though. You see brothers walking in there. I ain't paying that bitch shit. That hoe ain't getting nothing from me. You see him three hours later, I can't pay this shit. Excuse me, judge, let me speak to the witness. We need a recess, let me holler at this hoe, your honor. Come on, baby, you know I'll make this kind of money. Brother be working for four weeks, get his check, it's $42. He run up to his supervisor, who is Garnishment? They show that nigga a picture of his baby mama. Ha! This trick bitch done got me again, ain't this a bitch? I done put in 120 hours and I got $43, I'ma kill this hoe. <laughs> it's the fucking truth. But I'm upset with my white folks. And then again, where's our terrorists at? Where we got terrorists at? Where the clan at when you need them? Oh, they said they love this motherfucking country so much, this is the time to come out and play. Why ain't you hanging some of these motherfuckers? Where you at? This is the time we need to pick up trucks. Come on out, good old boys. They done fucked the country up. Why ain't you fighting? Oh, it's easy to fuck on a little black kid that want to go to college. Fuck on these towel heads. Come on, niggas. Where you at? It's like I thought, a bunch of bitches. Because if you truly love this country, you'd be mad at their ass. You wouldn't need to be fucking with us. Come on now. You love this flag so much, come on. But black people, the only good thing about September 11th, for the first time ever, a crime has been committed and black people ain't the suspect. Oh, I be loving that shit. I be just skipping by the police. How you doing? Oh yeah, you looking for a sand nigga, ain't ya? Yeah, there ain't no black people don't fuck with no bombs. We don't fit that profile. Cause you got to be on time with a bomb. A nigga fuck around oversleep, boom, ain't this a bitch? I knew I forgot to do something. I knew I should have said it for Saturday. I know I ain't have enough time to go out and check ass and try to drop this bomb off. Bitch, didn't I tell you wake my ass up? I supposed to be a terrorist today. Somebody pay Saturday bit and tell that nigga I need another bomb. Tell him I can get on the 10 o'clock flight. Then white people say Saddam bin Laden is a coward, but for black people, he's something else. He a hell of a motivated speaker. Cause ain't no way you're gonna get no black people to kill Asia and your ass stay in the cave. You have to tell me the plan like 15 times. I be in there holding up the mission. Okay, hold on, Al-Qaeda, but I gotta ask Saddam one more question before we leave. Okay, I get the bomb from you. I get on flight 80-80-80. Now how I get back to Afghanistan? See, that's the shit I don't understand. Okay, one more time, I get the bomb from Adula. I get on flight 8088, and now I get back to Tor Bor. The rest of y'all can leave, but I gotta talk to this nigga one more time. Cause I'm not understanding this shit. Okay, one more time, I get the bomb from Adula, I understand that shit. And I get on flight, now how me and you get together to do another video? Ain't no way, it's hard enough to get black people to work without their supervisor. You gonna get them to kill themselves, and nigga, you gonna stay in the cave? Shit. I don't know no nigga could do that. And even if you there, you ain't getting no black people to kill themselves. 
You had the hardest fucking time. Look, we gotta kill ourselves. Says who? <laughs> Muhammad. Well, you talk to him, he ain't tell me shit. I, I, hey, all I'm saying is, man, I need to talk to him myself personally. Rest of y'all can kill ourselves, but uh uh, why he ain't got no bomb? And I love that anthrax shit. I hope they send some more through the mail. Because I ain't paid a bill since. See, it's called me. Why you ain't pay your bill? I like hey, My shit was contaminated. Had hey, white stuff all on top of it. I love that anthrax. I hope they send some more through the mail. Because I forward all my mail to my baby mama. I've been trying to kill that bitch legally all my life. I heard that sniper was in D.C. I took that bitch up there. Here, pump some gas. Fill it up. Just fill it up, bitch. I'm going to stand here. Fill it up. Then I looked on TV. He at the supermarket. Here, bitch, put the, <laughs> put the groceries in the trunk. Fill it up. Stay in the middle. Just stay right there. I was just walking her up and down, D.C. Where this nigga at? I need his beeper number. I got your next victim, nigga. I bought a four five stone ties, just dry. They never peeled. I got mad as shit. I called Dateline. I like, what's the serial number of them badass ties? <laughs> they like, you got them. No, I'm looking for them. People don't understand. A lot of people go to jail. Fuck going, I don't know why in our neighborhood going to jail is thorough. Fuck going to jail. I can't go to jail. I can't even stay in my room an hour. Now don't get me wrong, I've been in jail, but I do little shit for little time. I go to jail for shit like eating in the supermarket. Don't laugh, all of us do the shit. I'm the only brother got caught. You know how you go in the supermarket, eat a couple grapes, have a few cookies, make a sandwich, use some of the lotion, put it back on the counter. Said 45% free, that's my shit. Talking about some time. White people giving out some time. Got a cousin, that nigga in jail for life. He calls me three times a day, man. I had to tell that nigga yesterday, look, you're going to be in there a long time. You need to stretch these goddamn calls out. I mean, he would be wanting to talk for two, three hours. What you tell a brother without no future? What do you tell a nigga? Keep your head up and your ass down. Because this is about choice. Can't go to jail. That's why all you brothers out here selling that crack cocaine, you a soldier. Because if you get caught with crack cocaine, you get 15 years mandatory. You get caught with cocaine, you get probation. The only difference between crack and cocaine is baking soda. If I sold crack, I would have to change my game according to the law. Quick, you got that crack? Yeah, nigga, I got that crack. Here's your cocaine. Here's your baking soda. You got to cook it yourself. They're giving a nigga 15 years for that recipe. So I got problems with brothers that get caught and just start snitching. You was balling when you was doing it. Take up the responsibility when you get caught. Don't snitch. Be that man. That man you was in the club with the crystal. Nigga, keep it real. Because I can't go to jail. Fuck that. I had a dude that was slinging. Best friend talking about, come on, Quake. Sell this shit with me. Nigga, you don't want me on your team. He said, I trust you. I'm like, nigga, don't trust me. I'm a weak link. He said, we grew up together. We close. I said, I know we close. Because if they catch me, nigga, they caught us. I'm a snitcher. Let the judge say I got 25 years. I need to talk to the DAs. It was all them niggas, your honor. And my mother, too. Come on up here, mama. You saw that cocaine coming in the house. You know I ain't graduate. Tell them what you know, mama. You 80 years old, you done lived your life. Let me live my life, mama. I told him you was the kingpin. That's why I watch court TV. Because white people are giving out years like it's minutes. They gave a brother double life. He was a soldier, though. That brother took it like with 30 days. He was a man's man. I had to salute the TV because they like, Tyrone, we sent us you to double life. The nigga went, mm. Like it was a shot of liquor. I'd have passed out like a bitch, oh Jesus. Did that white man say double life? How the fuck I'm gonna do double life? That mean even if you bring me back, Lord, I gotta do time. What's my motivation, Jesus? 
then I'm killing everybody in the courtroom. Fuck it, put 30 more days on this motherfucker. What else can you do to me? And where is that no good ass lawyer? I put my house up for this shit. And death row, that's something else I don't understand. They gonna tell you the day they gonna kill you, expect your ass to be there. We all know we gonna die, but we don't know the date. Nigga, they give you the date. We coming to get you on the third. Don't plan shit the rest of the week. The rest of the prisoners should just be fucking with you. What you doing on the fourth? Oh, that's right, your ass ain't gonna be here. And then they be walking, every time everybody get sentenced to death, they walk to the gas chamber, their own free will. I guess that's being a real man. Cause none of them don't be fighting. They just be walking slow. And other prisoners be trying to give them a hint, dead man walking. And he be ignoring them like he a fine bitch at the club. That couldn't be me, dead man being drugged. Crying like a bitch. Sitting all on himself. Asking for the governor's home number. And then before they kill you, they ask you a stupid ass question. Do you have any last requests? Hell yeah! A getaway car. Some keys of these shackles around my motherfucking ankle. They talking about a meal. Who want to eat their favorite meal and then go get executed? And if that meal is keeping me from being executed, that's going to be the longest meal ate by a nigga in a year. I'm ordering a bowl of rice and eating it one at a time. I don't know why y'all rushing. <laughs> people don't understand it. You gotta keep it on there. Cause you keep it real. Thank you, I love you too. It's good to be in Gulfport. <laughs> Flew in y'all little raggedy ass airport. <laughs> I got off the plane, I was in the parking lot. I'm like, damn, where's baggage claim? Some nigga just threw me my bags. Claim it, nigga, claim it. <laughs> I was down here once before the summer. I can't come down here in the summertime. It be hot down this motherfucker. Slave heat. I came out here one time, it was 98 degrees at 3 in the morning. I'm like, damn, Mississippi must got their own sun. I was hiding from the sun like it was the police. Damn, that motherfucker's still out there. It don't never go down. It's some bullshit. Got the whole building surrounded. It be so hot in Mississippi, I be seeing water drinking water. Birds be catching calves. Fuck it. Taxi, taxi. Being in Mississippi, I have came to the conclusion our ancestors were some bad motherfuckers. Cause ain't no way I could have been a slave. Picking that cotton in this kind of heat, sun up, sun down, no checks plus ass whippings. I'd have did that shit for five minutes, Mass, I need to talk to you. What's wrong with you, nigga? Pick a tree, pick a tree, pick a motherfucker tree. I'd be damned if I'm gonna do this shit my whole life. You whipping me and ain't paying me, kiss my ass. I'm going back to meet my makeup. I come back when we got rights. White people talking about Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. No, he didn't. Polyester did. They stopped wearing cotton. They had to let our black ass go. Used to fuck with young women, but you gotta get an older one. Young women, these young women, I don't understand, they don't even cook. You tell a young bitch you hungry, that bitch will pull out a menu. They deliver. Ask for Stevie, he'll hook your shit up. Bitch, you need to hang with Stevie. You tell a young bitch, you, <laughs> young women don't cook, you gotta drag them bitches in the kitchen. Let go my leg. I don't go in that other room. I'm allergic to pots and pans. Well, you're going to break out tonight. I see a rash in your future. 
Asked a young bitch to cook me grits, she had to read the rest. You need a saucepan, some steamy water, and a stick of margarine. Get your ass back in the bedroom. Just go back in the bedroom. I'm in here losing weight like I'm on the pipe. I'm about to cook me some oodles or noodles. Oh, I'm a oodles or noodles cooking nigga. You gotta know how much water to put in your noodles. Or you fuck up your seasoning. <laughs> My daughter says she wanna have a pet, but fuck a pet. Time's too hard to have anything living in your house ain't pulling their fair share. She says she want a dog, so I bought a dog we both could use, an old retired police drug dog. So when I lose my last bag of herb, nigga, you better find it. Like, Daddy, feed the dog. Not till he come home with an ounce. I be walking my dog through the projects, just finding nigga stash. <laughs> good boy, good boy. See, that's what I'm talking about. Cocaine too, you doing the shit. I go to my boy house, you got some herb? No, I'm all out. <laughs> he say, no, you not. <laughs> he said, you got cocaine too. I used to do cocaine, but shit, I seen Whitney Houston on TV. That bitch made me throw all my cocaine away. I don't give a fuck what you say. You're supposed to be losing weight around your knees and shit. What kind of drugs this bitch is taking making her kneecaps go away? This bitch ain't got no knee. I said, what is Bobby giving this bitch that's fucking her kneecaps up? This bitch ain't got no kneecap. Whitney Houston's so skinny, when she be singing, you can see the words coming through this bitch's throat. It's like karaoke, I'm just singing with this bitch. You give good love, this F that's gonna strangle this hoe, she gonna get strangled. I don't think she gonna get this F through her throat, baby. And everybody says she ought to leave Bobby Brown, she ain't gonna never leave Bobby. Ever, 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 ever. Know how hard it is to find somebody to cook your crack cocaine the way you like it? Take years. That's a relationship that's together. Had this one young chick I thought was gonna work out, but she had kids though. She had, had one kid was too old. That motherfucker was a one-year-old adult. I don't mind a baby crying. One year old supposed to cry. This motherfucker didn't cry. He just complained all night long. But he had legitimate complaints. He must have read his rights book. I'm wet again. Put some more baby powder right here. That's how I got her ass the last time. I like, put his little ass to sleep. I ain't sleeping. Stop shaking me. I ain't closing my eyes. What y'all doing in that other room? Is that herb I smell? Mama, you know they'll take me away from you. They ain't know the shit going on. And these ain't no huggies. Look how the tape keep coming off and shit. I weigh 30 pounds. I ain't no newborn. I want to go live with grandma. Just so you get on your feet. You had nine months to get your shit together. And when I'ma get a car seat? I'm tired of sitting on them telephone books. Look how they cut my leg and shit. Won't you put me up for adoption? At least one of us got a shot at life. These ain't no walking shoes. Look how my arch keep falling and shit. I wanna go live with grandma. And why is this phone bill in my name? You gonna fuck my credit up. <laughs> you know it's true. Like I said, I don't understand how uh, anybody could be racist all of us got retarded ass kids. White people kids, them up. You give them a napkin and a duck sauce, them motherfuckers make a bomb. But one thing I have to give credit to white people though, when their kids get in trouble, they support them motherfuckers in the media. Billy didn't do it. Three weeks later, I don't know why Billy did it. <laughs> you put a camera in a black person's face, we be like, we on LA law. I wasn't there, you wasn't there, so you don't know what happened. <laughs> we gotta wait and see what happens. Sure. White people, the key part about it is though, white people, boy, they kids are something, boy, because they are, they have a privilege we'll never have. They could be their kids, friends and parents, because you see them on TV, they like, I didn't know Billy had 15 bombs in the basement. Black people are like, yeah, you did. 
We don't understand. When you're white, you can be your kids' parents and friends. When you're black, you can only be your parents. Because there's too many things killing our motherfucking kids. So we can't let them be kids. We got to take this shit right now. Uh-uh, put that chain down underneath your shirt. Motherfucker, kill you for that. Keep your hands on the wheel. They might think it's two guns. So when your mother is your parent and friends, you can make requests like they do. Mommy, I want to use the garage for a whole week and promise me you're not going to come in there. Okay, Billy. That little motherfucker there making a nuke. <laughs> White lady knows something going wrong. She's like, I want to go in there. I told them, I, I gave them my word. I promised them. I want to go in there. Lights be flickering, cable ain't working. I know he's doing something, but I want them to know I'm trustworthy. When you black, you better not close no door at your mother house. <laughs> you could be in your own room lotioning up. That bitch will kick the door and there go the goddamn lotion. You leave the lotion in here for everybody to use. I'm in here asking for work looking for this goddamn lotion. Pack your shit and get the fuck on out. That's why you have to keep it real. You know? But we are who we are. It's good to be black, like I got a choice. <laughs> you hear that all the time. Like you pick this motherfucker color. Sometimes I like to walk through the mall without being watched. Get pulled over by the police and like, this motherfucker gonna do his job. You know? But being black, we didn't have setbacks, but I love being black because we have our shit. That's who we are. And it's good being. Plus, it's hot now. You know? I used to love rap, but I get tired of buying these brothers' albums. 1925 tracks. Hearing how good they living. I got all the bitches a Bentley, a big house. Here I got this nigga's CD, but I ain't got my rent. <laughs> Something wrong with this picture. That's why I download the nigga shit. You say you got all the cash money, you don't need my goddamn money. <laughs> People don't understand that why you have to keep it real. When we black by nature, certain things come with us. You know? Black people are black by nature. You know, we are. We get laid. It's some, we so late, there's some slaves still on their way over here. That's why I'm gonna have a real black show. Supposed to come on 11 o'clock, gonna come on 11 20. Some days ain't even gonna come on. And that's a black show. Some people say Jesus is black. Mm, I don't know if that's true or not. But that would explain why it's taking them so long to come back. We can be black. Jesus can be black. We could be anything. Well, realize that, but something we can't be. No, we couldn't have been. I know who we couldn't have been. Ain't no way no black man was Noah. Noah couldn't have been black. Because ain't no way no black family was on no boat for 40 days and 40 nights and didn't eat them two chickens. <laughs> I don't know, no nigga could take that kind of pressure. I'm about to backslide, Lord. But chickens, y'all gonna have it. <laughs> if Noah was black, God would have been mad at that brother. Didn't I tell you get two chickens? I'm not them chickens keepers, Lord. <laughs> and you a pig short. <laughs> Couldn't have no eggs without no bacon, Jesus. Oh shit, ain't no black, <laughs> huh? Thank you, brother. You hear me? Noah couldn't have been black. Ain't no black man going 40 days with two chickens. Ain't no way in hell. <laughs> you be looking at them chickens, y'all ain't gonna make it. Rest of the family be arguing, fuck them, they gotta go to hell. <laughs> I don't know, no black man could take that kind of pressure. That's why you got to keep it real, understand it, you know? We got to do something about our kids too, them little motherfuckers are dangerous. Oh, something else, ain't no sense. Twelve-year-old brother got locked up for shooting two people in Burger King. When he got locked up, he going to lie to the judge talking about he innocent because he had a split personality. If I was a judge, I'd say, well, both of you niggas going to do the time. 
Because one of y'all could have called the police. <laughs> it only take one hand to down 911, you bad bastards. That's why you got to keep it real. I, I have a love, lot of love for women now that I'm married, because women got it bad. I don't care what you say, because if you're a woman, period, you are a minority. If you're a black woman, that make your ass a double minority. If you're an uneducated black woman, that make your ass an immigrant. <laughs> so my 16-year-old daughter talked about she don't want to go to college. I said, you going to college. Even I got to put your ass in your bed in the room with the professor. She's like, Daddy, you ain't go to college. I'm like, yeah, we gambled on me, but we ain't going to gamble on your black ass. I got her ass in private school. I can't help her with none of her homework. She bring that shit home. She like, Daddy, what you think? I like, shit, what you think? You was there. What the teacher say? You need to pay attention. I can't tell the jokes and do the homework. Bitch, help me out. She like, well, you ain't go to college. I like, yeah, we gambled on me. It ain't happen. And she don't understand. It. You got to get into your daughter's life because. You know, the self-esteem, you have to. So, you know, I spend more time with my 16 year old daughter and they do something different. You gotta get into their life different. They like having sleepovers and they like having like pajama parties. And, but that's some dangerous shit. Cause I don't know what they feed them little 16 year old. But they don't look 16. When they come over and stay on my house for the weekend, I have to lock myself in the bedroom and sit at the edge of the bed with my Bible. Help me, Jesus. I'm feeling weak, Lord. The devil's in this motherfucker. I don't want to catch a case, Jesus. But if Lil Riri knock on this door one more time, I'm going to have to give her some cookies she ain't looking for. I can get her with some Six Flag tickets. I don't know what they be feeding them, little motherfucker. They be like, Lil Pony. <laughs> Titties be bigger than my wife. I'm like, this is a shame. I'm gonna see what they putting in the milk. <laughs> it's the truth. You know? But like I say, I'm gonna have my TV show. I don't know what y'all do for y'all for a living. I finally got my TV show. I'm gonna have it done because it's God's will. But it's hard being in movies. Every movie you done seen, a nigga done read for a part, and every one of them ain't get a part, and none of them motherfuckers. Oh, I got bad luck when it comes to movies, though. Worst day of my life, I auditioned for Planet of the Eight. They wouldn't let a nigga play an eight. I had a script with nothing but growls, and I'm practicing. Rrr. Rrr. I said, damn, a nigga can't get no eight work. I didn't even get a call back for an eight. Then I saw the movie, it was a thousand eights. I'm like, I know I was better than one of them motherfuckers. How they didn't pick me to play an eight? It's hard to fuck your bitch when you can't play a eight. I lost a part to Michael Clark Duncan. The brother that was in the green mile. Yeah, he, he a good actor. That nigga came in the audition dressed like an eight. Didn't even have a costume on. That nigga rolled on the ground with two bananas and jumped on the table. I like, that nigga's a professional. Who is his acting teacher? People don't understand. I like porno flicks. I try to support black porno flicks, but we need more money in production. You put a black porno flick in, they fucking already. I'm like, damn, how they meet? Don't be no sheets on the bed, shit be all off focus. Sister be moaning like she ain't been paid. Mm -hmm. Oh, but this bitch, mm -hmm. Brother be looking in the camera, just looking at his house, doing shout outs. I told you I'd be fucking hoes. My real name Earl, I'm from Cleveland. I don't want to know your real name, nigga. White porno flicks be having plots and schemes and storylines. I never be believing that shit. Cause I ain't never walked through the woods and found folk buck naked white women having a picnic waiting on my black hair. Talking about you hungry little boy? Hell yeah, I'm hungry. I watch one porno flick, I watch a man give himself all sex. That's what I said too, Ugh. Then I started thinking, boy, if I could do that, I sure save myself $50,000 a year. 
And that's a tax cut. It's hard to get a sister to go down. You got damn near kill that bitch. God damn. Your neck is strong. You've been lifting weights. You said you were going to do it. You said once we get married. Well, let us get out the church first. Then they got to inspect your shit. What this bump? Why your hair ain't growing? And you need to get circumcised first. I got high blood pressure. That extra skin going to fuck my pressure up. And brothers, y'all need to get circumcised, you nasty bastards. Dick looking like a blunt. I damn near burnt the nigga one time, fired up on my band. This nigga ain't got no draws on, ain't this a bitch? I thought this nigga had a blunt. This is, this, I can't believe this. Love my wife, I gotta do this before I go because I always tell her I do. Love her to death. Marriage is deep. I told my wife, ain't no leaving me. I told God I was gonna love her to the day I die. And I'm gonna live up to that commitment. Bitch, so are you. Or you're gonna die trying. Health do us, bitch, and I'm healthy. Whatever took me to get you, I'm gonna do to the day I die. And you can tell me, I gotta be in the house every night before two o'clock. It could be 158 and a brother running home. But I'm gonna go back out at 201. But bitch, I was home at two o'clock. And it's hard to keep a woman satisfied now, and I swear for God. I never understood being poor to be rich now, why rich people don't stay together, but I understand it now. Because it's hard to put up with somebody's shit when you don't need their half on the rent. That's why I'm down with pimps now, now that I'm married. Pimp is a, I look at them in a whole different world now. Because a pimp can put a woman on the corner, make her sell her prized possession, and bring the money back. And I hang around brothers that's working three jobs for a black woman, been married to her since the 12th grade, and he can't get that bitch to fix him a sandwich. I'm like, damn, who the real hoe? I was in New York, I seen a blind pimp. He was beating the wrong hoe. He was standing on the wrong corner. They be paying him in Monopoly money. He be at the club, look at all these 500s. My women be working. But I told my wife that, but see, Millie, in LA, man, they got this shit called irreconcilable differences. I mean, if y'all don't get along, y'all can get a divorce. I mean, I believe in God. How you gonna get rid of me? We told God we gonna love each other. I told her you, hey, I don't turn you on 20 years from now. I don't get you off, that's cool. But bitch, ain't no leaving. We roommates. Now I don't fix another room up around the house. Life a long time, we'll fall back in love again. <laughs> You'll see something good in my ass again. And I'm gonna do all the duties as your husband. You're gonna do the duties as your wife. That's my wife. I'm going to pay all the bills, cut all the grass, and when I'm in the mood, I knock on your room. <laughs> Who is it? It's the landlord. I'm here to collect your half of the rent. You ain't even got to wake up, just move your drawers to the side. I'll be back over here later on the night for half on the cable. <laughs> Taping this is... Uh... This is meaningful to me, man. I got people here, and I'm glad y'all to share it. I'm going in another direction in my life. I've been doing this comedy a while, and when they said golf hall, Mississippi, I like, fuck it, why not? Why not? Nah, why motherfucking not? I'm glad y'all came to see me. I'm glad you came to see me. I swear for God. God is good, black people. Because I don't have a plan. This is, hey, I'm going to tell you something. I ain't have no epiphany. Watch Richard Pryor and the rest of these motherfuckers. This is just making the best decision that day. I'd always say what I wasn't going to do because I can't go to jail. 
So I said I had to find something. So I just end up start talking shit like this, and it paid. And I'm blessed for the pardon that God bless you. And anything I tell my daughters and my kids is be patient. You know, you might not be a baller when you're 18 or 19. Some of your shit might come like it is me now when I'm 40. But one thing about it is you got to be patient. Whatever shit they got in 2003, they're going to have it in 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> you know what I mean? Play your position, man. It's, it's truly, I'm all this shit. I used to be bigger than this, because motherfuckers like, go to the gym. I try to go to the gym, but try to work out, but the shit just didn't work out. I guess, I, you know, fuck hurting myself on purpose. <laughs> Never understood that shit. Why do you want to hurt yourself on purpose? You see big dudes at the gym. I'm not motherfucker be huge. I had to pull one dude to the side. Like, nigga, do you know they shooting people now? Fuck you getting big for, they ain't fighting no more. A one arm nigga could kill you. Pow! Out of shape like me, <laughs> nigga die right there. You make it to the hospital. I ain't leaving this country. I don't know who you brothers are talking about. Let's go back to Africa. But you can sell my goddamn ticket. I be seeing Africa in the news. I like, ooh, them niggas got it bad. Glad white people came to pick me up. That could be me over there looking for a sandwich. I'm going to die or something, but starvation ain't one of them. If I lived over in Ethiopia, I'd just sneak over this country working Burger King. They wouldn't even have to pay me. I'd just be in there gaining weight. We out of French fries again. Who will work Christmas? I will. We out of Whoppers again. I'll be biting people shit through the drive-thru. You said check to see if had extra cheese on the motherfucker. But black, we do got to do something about our kids. They was never slaves. Shit is better than it ever been for us as a race. They need to show more appreciation. Uh, it is. It ain't great, but it's better than it ever have, and we're going to make it better, because it's God's will. But there's no reason for them to be killing each other. Like, I live in Los Angeles. And every time a brother get, yeah, and every time a young brother get killed by the police, black people want to get together and march. I'm like, I'm not going. Tell you get mad at Tyrone for killing Leroy, I'm not going. You sending the wrong message to my son that he's only viable if he get killed by somebody white. Fuck that. But them little motherfuckers are dangerous. Because they back in our day, we knew who the killers was. I don't know who the killer. These little motherfuckers do anything. Man. I took my daughter to the zoo, and brothers were shooting at the zoo. Fuck you got a gun at the zoo for? What you a hunter? I went back to the same zoo about six months later. Now the animals are racial profiling. Lion won't even come out of his cave if he see a brother at the gate. He go, rrr, I can fuck with them. Rrr. They got a nerve to have us locked up. Them the niggas need to be locked up. Rrr. I'm staying right here. Fuck that. Monkey swinging around in a bulletproof vest. <laughs> You got to do something about them because they dangerous, man. They are. Uh, they commit crimes we would have never done. That's why when I see four, five young brothers walking down the street, I'm like, white people, oh shit, hit them niggas, calm. <laughs> Don't look at them, baby. Don't look at them niggas. Fuck your hair. Take that gold off. They'll rape both of us. <laughs> what kind of nigga rape you and your wife? That ain't right. She like, help me. Bitch, my ass hurt too. You need to help me, show them a titty, get them off of my ass. I thought I had to fight them, I didn't know they was a gang of rapists. You and your wife are in rape counseling. They asked what happened, she just started snitching, well they fucked him first. He was screaming like a bitch. I was ashamed to be his wife. I asked him why he's sitting and pissing all on his house. You always trying to fuck me in the ass. I thought you said the shit didn't hurt. Oh, I'm going to tell you like you tell me at night, relax your muscles. Breathe slowly. He just want to put the head in for a little while. Let him put the head in for a little while. I'm going to go somewhere illusions tonight, y'all. We're going to party. I'll be here for the night. Yeah, we're going to have an after party there. We taping this shit. Glad for Club Illusion, nigga, damn. You see white people here, we got company. 
be on your best behavior. I was wondering why that yellow bus was outside. That nigga on a field trip. We going to the casino, see Earthquake. Hold hands, hold hands. My name is Earthquake. Appreciate y'all showing me love. I'm up out of here like last year. Hit my shit, I'm out.